Hello from Drexel Hill, United Methodist Church just west of Philadelphia. May you find a blessing in weekday transcendence. When two blind men sitting along the road heard that Jesus was passing by, they shouted, Show us mercy, Lord, Son of David. Now the crowd scolded them and told them to be quiet, but they shouted even louder, Show us mercy, Lord, Son of David. Jesus stopped in his tracks and called to them, What do you want me to do for you? Lord, we want to see. And Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes. Immediately they were able to see and they followed him. We are, each of us, limited by our own reason, limited by our own experience, limited by our own formation, limited by our worldview. Voltaire, famously said that more people have been killed in the name of religion than any other cause on earth. Now, that was a fine reflection, especially considering he lived at the end of the wars of religion in Europe. Had he said the same thing in 1999, 2010, he would have been wrong. <laughs> after the 20th century's ideological wars, but we are confined by our own experience, our own reason. You might hear a critic say, how do you solve the problem that has led people to kill one another in the name of God since forever? And at the end of the day, religions all claim to be true. They conflict. Therefore, they cannot all be true. At most, one is. If Christianity is true, Judaism is false. If Islam is true, then Christianity and Judaism are false. It follows that these religions are bound to conflict. I'd suggest there is a profound difference between thinking my faith is true and conflicts with yours, and thinking that yours is therefore false. Surely, if I and my fellow believers have a relationship with God, that does not entail that you do not. I have my stories, rituals, memories, prayers, celebrations, laws and customs, you have yours. That is what makes me, me, and you, you. It is what differentiates cultures and heritages and civilizations and religions. Let us pray. Lord, may we learn that the truth of one life does not entail the falsity of another. Amen. Come and see us next week again at Drexel Hill, United Methodist Church, for weekday transcendence. And between now and then, remember that lovely digest of John Wesley's Thought and Theology. Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as ever you can.